Hey you guys, Garrett Talbot here with Iron Horse RV and Trailers here in Rexburg, Idaho. Just wanting to do another RV 101 quick tip here for you. We're going to talk about draining our black and gray tanks. So there's lots of different dump sites um, that you can go to. Often campsites will have them. We have one here at our location at our dealership um, and a lot of other places around town will have them. You're going to pull your trailer up to the dump site. Typically it's on the driver's side, um, your, your outlet. You'll pull up to that site. You, most hoses have about 10 to 15 feet. Um, you still wanna try and get as close as you can. Just make sure you're paying attention to everything. You'll go ahead and hop out of the truck. First thing you do, gloves. Um, I personally like gloves that I can throw away. Uh, I don't like reusable ones for obvious reasons, uh, but I'll go ahead and put my gloves on. I'm gonna come down here to my outlet. I'm gonna pull my holes out of my bumper. Um, most of the time they're kept in bumpers. Um, of the trailer, you'll go ahead and pull your holes out. Um, the first thing you're gonna do is you wanna make sure that your valves for your black tank and your gray tank are completely closed. You don't wanna open this thing up and have everything start flowing out. So once you know that those are closed, you're gonna go ahead and twist your valve, your cap here on your outlet, um, kind of push it off to the side, and we're gonna go ahead and then connect the hose. Once we've connected the hose, the first thing we like to do is, is the black tank. You always want to do the black tank first. So I'm going to pull the black tank valve. Everything's going to flow out and down. I like these clear end hoses. Obviously, this is going into the dump site. But then you can see via the clear end when everything is nice and clear. Um, at that point, once the black tank is done, you will go ahead and close the valve and open the gray tank valve. Once you open the gray tank valve, that is all your sink and shower water that's going to clear everything else out um, and it's going to clear it out of the hose once that is all nice and done you will go ahead and close the grave valve back up you'll go ahead and disconnect your hose be careful as you disconnect it to keep it pointing up um, and then typically most dump sites are going to have some type of garden hose attached to a water source you'll grab that garden hose and turn it on and put it directly inside the top of this so that you can clear out and clean out this hose. You'll do that for a minute, allow it to dump into the dump site, at which point you're all set. You'll put your garden hose away, and then you will stash your sewer hose back, put your cap back on your outlet here, and you're ready to rock and roll. So hopefully we'll see you soon, guys, and happy camping.